begin in San Francisco, where the downtown area plays a really important role in driving the city's economy. But it's not recovering from pandemic-induced economic problems as quickly as many other major downtowns all across the country. So this evening, we decided to take an in-depth look. Our Max Darrow has more on small businesses that once relied on a vibrant downtown that are now struggling to survive. And our exclusive interview with San Francisco's mayor on how to help create a downtown rebound. Three salads. It's been a while since Jeff Wu and his team at Il Canto Cafe in San Francisco's financial district have seen a lunch rush like this one. This was the first big rush we've had this year. Patricia, right? He took over the breakfast and lunch spot a few months before the pandemic with a plan of catering to the office crowd in the FIDI. That was the plan. It was pretty busy then. Uh, now it's a different crowd. Can I get your name? While he gets some in-person business, he's pivoted to a lot of online and delivery app orders. That's because the office crowd hasn't made a robust return to downtown San Francisco. We, we keep asking people about it. You know, when are people coming back? Um, when are people coming back? We ask the security guards. The buildings are only about 25% full. That's what they say. But as Dr. Karen Chappell, Professor Emerita at UC Berkeley and the Director of the School of Cities at the University of Toronto explains, it's not just the absence of office workers that's hindering downtown San Francisco's recovery, it's an absence of people overall. We're looking at everybody who comes downtown. She and her team of researchers are conducting the Urban Displacement Project, which tracks how much activity is happening in downtown areas. They analyze cell phone data, not just office vacancy rates, to compare recent population patterns to pre-pandemic numbers. If you have the right mix of sectors, you're doing pretty well right now. But if you were too specialized, you might be suffering. Of the 62 cities they've been tracking, San Francisco has ranked consistently at the bottom of the list when it comes to recovery. San Francisco, March 16th, 2020, uh, was at 30% of its pre-pandemic activity. March 16th, 2022, November 2022, still at 30%. San Francisco is illustrated by the teal line at the bottom of this graph. You can see it goes up and down a bit, but hasn't broken out like many other cities. One reason Chapel points to is San Francisco's heavy reliance on the tech industry, whose workers went largely remote at the start of the pandemic and haven't come back. And then it comes back a little, and you think, oh my gosh, it's going to be all right in San Francisco. But it's stuck. Would you agree? San Francisco is stuck. Yeah, I doubt it. Uh, look, I'm going to say San Francisco is not stuck. San Francisco is just different. I sat down with Mayor London Breed, who recently announced her roadmap for downtown's future. It's comprised of nine strategies and nearly 50 initiatives. There's not a one thing that's going to bring our downtown back. It's going to be a number of things. Among them, tax breaks to incentivize businesses to stay here and to come here. Part of what I am pushing for in some of my tax initiatives is for some of the existing businesses to delay the change in the gross receipts tax so that people's taxes aren't doubling by June of this year. But for those new businesses, we're saying, look, you come to San Francisco, three years. Three years, you won't have to pay city taxes in order to get started and to get going and to grow your company. Other parts of her plan include changing downtown zoning to make it easier to convert office space to housing, improving public safety and cleanliness, and more. What are the biggest challenges right now? The biggest challenges right now are uh, just a couple of things. Number one, public safety. We know that is a struggle, and we know that we need more officers. What roadblocks do you anticipate running into to try and accomplish this roadmap? Well, I mean, the Board of Supervisors is, you know, some of them can be quite challenging, and um, this is going to be a real heavy overhaul. The mayor is optimistic. We're moving forward, we're being aggressive, and we're going to make the city even better than ever. Despite the challenges, Wu has no plans to leave San Francisco. I was raised here since I was four, four years old, so this is the place to be. Though slowly, he says business is improving. It's gotten a lot better, but it took a long time. However, if the situation downtown doesn't truly improve, he's not sure his cafe will be able to stay downtown. If I start hearing the occupancy rate going down to 10%, you know, 5%, then we'll get pretty worried. We'll have to relocate to somewhere else, yeah. That said, if he sees more days like this one, relocation won't remain a thought.
And as San Francisco continues its recovery process, a CBS News analysis of recent job data between 2019 to 2021 broke down some of the job sectors that are growing and shrinking. Mm -hmm. Jobs in accommodation and food services saw a decrease of 41%. Jobs in wholesale trade dropped 25%. Jobs in utilities saw an increase of 11%. Jobs in information saw an increase of 9%.